What is the most amount of guys that you f in a week? Probably like 20. 20 guys in a week? Wait, what? Yeah, because when I was shooting a lot of mainstream scenes, like, I would go out to LA and be booked like 7 to 10 times per week, and sometimes it would be like two scenes in a day or like I would go do a scene and then go do content or something yeah. and sometimes the scenes would have multiple guys and stuff like that so like it adds up but I wouldn't say I've never like I've never that many dudes like outside of work in so a week. I was gonna say yeah like outside of work how many? Outside of work probably like five. Bitch five! Yo she said hold on cuz she's saying five like it's normal. That's five different penises. That's five different individuals. That's not normal. Twenty is twenty is way out the way, but you know that's your profession. You get paid. You basically an Uber driver. She basically an Uber driver. She pick up different on the way. But in your regular life, five outside of work a week. Five in a week? Yeah. All new guys? No, I like to circulate my old. Okay. But I mean, they're different. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so 20 when working and like five when not working. Yeah. Which week is better? The one when you're working or not? I feel like the one when I'm working because like a lot of times if I people outside of the industry, I'm always so paranoid. I'm like, oh my, f I hope they didn't just give me. Like, I use okay. condoms for everything, but still like, I'm so paranoid. Yeah, for sure. Prime Day is coming July. I think it's crazy that she had the audacity to say that she circulated her, her old hoes. I mean, in this situation, who's really the hoe? Don't deflect. 20 and 5. Her stats is crazy. That's that's Hall of Fame whole stats. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's Hall of Fame stats. Hall of Fame stats. Jesus Christ. I hope the rest of these videos ain't like this, dog. <laughs> Is that a killer? All right, so in case y'all y'all haven't heard about this, right? Kiki Palmer's baby daddy or her husband or her boy, I don't know if they married. He was feeling some type of way about how she was getting down at this party with Usher. So he wrote, We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told, he gets told how much of a Haiti he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. I'm not going to lie. Ever since Kiki popped that baby and she gained that baby weight. You know what I'm saying? Them cheeks got a little bit bigger. She been showing out. She been showing out. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Kiki been showing out ever since that, you know, she dropped that baby. But, um, I don't disagree with him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would feel some type of way if my wife was on stage dancing with another man and her cheeks was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that. I might have to do a separate video about this too because um, all over my timeline, like people that I know personally, well, women I know personally, is is talking about, um, oh, that's the that's the sign of a jealous man, red flag. Like he's jealous because he wants you to respect y'all marriage by not showing everybody what he comes home to every night. How's that being jealous? Hmm? 
as a man, I'm going to let you know right now. If you got a man and you out here flaunting your cheeks to me and being low-key flirtatious, I don't give a fuck if we in a work setting or anything like that. Hey, you want the meat? You feel what I'm saying? You want Arby's? You want the meats? $50 Amazon gift card for 30 minutes with Young Jock. Well, that's disrespectful. Mm -mm. Not no young jocks. I'll take the $50 Amazon gift card. I'm going to take that $50 Amazon gift card. We can the $50 Amazon gift card. I'll take the Amazon gift card. A $50 Amazon gift card. Gift card. I don't want the young jock. That nigga, we wearing the suits and the corny ass hairstyles. I'm murdered. I'm taking the gift card. I don't feel like talking to him. The Amazon card. I'm gonna take Amazon. The fifty dollars because you know I could get off of Amazon for fifty dollars. I could get a couple things. Nice little mirror, nice little dresser. Fifty dollars Amazon gift card. The Amazon gift card. Give me that gift card. Uh -huh. I'll take your job when I look. <laughs> crazy it's crazy the the dude with the little sugar in his tank the only one that um that had common sense it 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 bothers me when i see videos like this with young ladies on the internet coming at these uh these celebrities jock has a radio show out here so and i'm actually a fan of his show his show is pretty dope so what i would say is y'all stupid Y'all stupid. Put it this way, right? Without telling my personal business out there. I make decent money doing YouTube. On top of that, I have a job. But I make decent money doing YouTube. Okay? I know Jock make way more money than me. I'm not ashamed to say that. I know for sure Jock, Young Jock is way, making way more money than me. So, for you to sit there and say... I'll take a $50, $50 gift card over 30 minutes with Young Jock. You're stupid. I'll take 30 minutes with Young Jock because Young Jock is probably going to show me how to make more money. Same like when he asked that Soldier Boy question. He, yo, I, I fuck with him because the questions he be asking are, are funny, but like it exposes how stupid people are. Not anymore. Where you from? Jersey. You got a boyfriend? Yeah. You got a boy best friend? Yeah. Wow, that's a red flag. <laughs> that's funny. What you mean? How you got a boyfriend and a boy best friend? That don't make sense. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, my boy best friend was here before my boyfriend. Nah. Nah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah. That's crazy. It ain't so, gonna like, work like that. What if your boy best friend, like, wanted to get on with you? Would you let him? No. Why? Because I don't see him that way. Y'all never did anything? No. No. Hell no. How long y'all been best friends? What, my senior year in high school, so 2018? 2018. Yeah. Hold on, can you, like, do a 360 real quick? 360? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, man. Lord, have mercy. Oh, you, you gonna put Umar focused, in there, focused, boy? Focused. Yeah, I feel it, though. Stay focused. You're telling me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So you're telling me with an ass like that, <laughs> yo, your boy best friend don't see you like that? Big hey, facts. Man. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She, she's a very attractive young lady. I'm trying to figure out if I've seen this video before. I need to find the whole video. She's very attractive. Yeah, we couldn't be friends. We couldn't be friends. Mm -mm. I'll be trying to tear that up. Every chance I get, we definitely can't be friends. Okay, so um, thinking back to when I was 16 in an anatomy class, when I learned that um, transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, I will look that up. Yeah, it's fact. I will it's look fact. that up. I will find it. Yeah. It's not a fact. Oh. It's not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick? Pull it out. Um, pull so out Google. A trans man has the brain of a woman? No. I'm saying that a trans man who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. And where did you get that from? Look it up. Okay, so, um... Yo. I looked at one video on, like, trans stuff, 
and now my whole timeline every it just be trans trans uh conventions I have no problem with what you choose to identify with as long as it does not affect me in any sort of way but like this whole cis man and all like that bothers me I ain't, I'm gonna be real with you as a father I'm scared I don't know who my son is gonna be all this influence I don't know who he's gonna be bro At all. You remember growing up when you watch cartoons and it's like after the cartoon was over, now you thought you was a Power Ranger. You know what I'm saying? You go outside, you ha ha he ha ha ha. I was watching some shit that my, my son was watching the other day, bro. And I could have sworn I saw a little boy in a dress. I saw a little boy in a dress. It was a cartoon. But in the cartoon, they were representing the whole trans movement. Hey, what you want to do in the privacy of your own home and what you how you want to live your life, that's fine. But when you just forcing it and pushing it on people like that's not that's not cool. That's not cool, son. All right, man. That's, that's it. I'm done.